Hey, Donna. Can you hear me okay? Hey, Billy, welcome. Can you all, will you all uh, type in the comments and let me know if you can hear me okay? Appreciate it. I got a cat. Getting line. Cobra Kai from Netflix. Alexa, stop. Okay, good, thank you. Hey, Richard, hey, Cherry. If I don't see your name, the, the comments are scrolling by pretty quickly, so if I, if I miss you. Hey, Ed. All right, appreciate that, good. I'm always worried about the sound. Not so much about the what I look like. Yeah. All right, we'll give folks a few minutes here to get Logged in. If any of you have a solution to the problem I have with my my uh, Apple computers, my laptop and my desktop, neither one will, the camera will not work with the browser when I do a Facebook Live, but my iPhone and tablet will. And they're all Apple products. Hey, Jim. Can you hear my dog bark? Ignore the barking dog in the background. It might sound like an episode of Cops. Hey, Deborah. <laughs> they always know when to bark. Well, Liam is here and uh, uh, his buddy, and they're they're getting ready. To, they're borrowing my truck to go get some gravel, so they're moving around the house, and that sets her off. So, oh, Kimberly, or Kim. All right, we're looking for an official time here. Hang on, just a second. All right, I've got just a little after 11 straight up, so let's, uh, we'll get started. Well, good morning. Kara is at a, a, um, a, worship, a, a church conference in Kansas City today, and we'll be back tomorrow, so she asked me to, to fill in. 
and just uh, just to let you know, this has uh, uh, been a, a big day. Hey, Claudia, uh, our youngest, Joe, uh, passed his learner's permit exam this morning, and that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, so my uh, my prep for this was, was not what I had expected. But he is, uh, he'll be now, well, he's been driving in the church parking lot some, but already, but he will be back on, oh yeah, here, share, I wish I could share it, this, you know, still plays with trains, you know. Um, so Joe will be on the road with uh, with one of us for now, and for a year or so, or whenever, six months, I guess, but anyway, he's uh, about to enter that world, and uh so that's the big news from the Thomas House today. And uh, so keep him and the other drivers in Hopkins County in your prayers as we move forward. Um, you know, next to... You may see a cat fly across the screen too, so just beware. Um, hey, thanks, Zach. <laughs> um, you know, I guess in, for about every minister... Um, we all have our favorite times of the year, and I don't know how to rank them, but anyway, one of, one of mine obviously is Christmas. I love the lead up, you know, from from Halloween on on into Christmas and through New Year's. I love that time of year. I'm not a fan of the weather at that point, but um, I love what what traditionally the church participates in it's, it's, it, with all the. I hate to say all the glitz and glamour of the Christmas season, but it's it's just the, you know, it's a great time if you're a church musician. There's always lots of beautiful, lots of beautiful material to work with, in um, in kind of forming that tapestry of of worship and 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 activities. So it's it's a it's one of my favorites. But uh, I guess my other favorite time is is kind of where we are. We're looking. I'm already looking into spring. Um, March will be here in what five weeks. We'll be changing the clocks again. We'll be springing forward, and 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 we come through this time of or after Epiphany. We have the Epiphany of Christ, and uh, and then we're we're in this time where we're we're looking at uh, how Christ was revealed to the world through his you know through all the I mean Kara's in this series sermon series now where we're talking all about the, the the acts of christ and the miracles that that he performed in in his community and places he went and we and what's like we saw last sunday in the passage in luke about uh, him speaking in the in the synagogue and well what what people heard made them angry and uh you know that that's saying that sometimes the truth hurts. Uh, I mean, they actually, you know, wanted to run him out of town and throw him off a cliff. And I, I love that story because it's so dramatic. But um, it, it's, this, it's this time in the church calendar where we emphasize or we draw attention to Christ coming in, not just being born in, you know, in Bethlehem in the manger and all that, but what follows. Of course, we have a, chronological gap in there in scripture but um, you know Christ is revealed to the world as being the son of God and, and, the, and the savior and the messiah so I call it um, there, there's there's a in most hymnals there most hymnals are divided into sections um, thematic sections and most standard hymnals mainline hymnals will have a section the Lordship of Christ, and uh, and that's where I pull some of the things that I use in worship. Uh, I think our Chalice Hymnal, um, I don't have the Chalice Hymnal right in front of me, but um, I, at the end of our time today, I'm going to share one of my, it's, actually it's one of my new favorite hymns that was published in the Baptist Hymnal 1991, and it, the title is, Who is He in Yonder Stall? And it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, text um, by ben Benjamin Hanby. And relatively, uh, and he lived from 1833 to 1867. So it's, it's, it's not as new as some, but it's not as old as some, too. It's kind of in the middle. But, um, you know, I think the lordship 
the lordship of Christ has always been, and I think that's something all Christians struggle with. And, um, you know, I've kind of poked fun at people in the, in the, I've known in the past who like every, it's like every little decision, uh, you know, what am I going to have for lunch? You know, well, what does the Lord want me to have for lunch? Well, you know, I don't know if the Lord <laughs> cares, but what we have for lunch, but, uh, he might, you know, but, um, and I think as humans, we all struggle with having or feeling like there's someone that's got a, um, has control of our lives, you know. And so we're always, I feel like I'm always surrendering to the call. And I don't mean the ministerial call. I mean just the call on my life as a follower of Christ. And uh, that is always, a, it's always been a struggle for me. And, uh, and uh, I'm sure, you know, some, hey, Phyllis, um, I'm sure you feel the same or maybe close to the same. Um, so the, recognizing Jesus as Lord is not always easy to do because we have that nature in us that wants to do our own thing. And honestly, I let that prevail often, more often than I should. So as we, you know, as we're into this season of the church year, um, I would just encourage encourage you and every everyone in in the sound of my voice today, you know, to take some time and reflect and just ask yourself the question, am I, you know, am I, am I running my own show or, or do I, pause at all and consider what you know God might want in this and um, in, 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 in answering lots of calls I mean whether it's answering uh, a stewardship call and I don't mean just not just money I'm, I just mean like you know where are we where are we working in the church you know what are we contributing to the mission of the church uh, in, a, in, in a physical sense and in a you know in our presence and in what we're doing, and I know that's 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 been difficult to do in the last two years. Um, so you know, so as we as we continue through this time of or after Epiphany, and where the revelation of Christ is becoming so real in the stories from the New Testament, uh, I, I just ask that we all take a moment and kind of examine. You know, Lent's coming up. It's a good time for that. Kind of re-examine where we are and what we're doing in life and whether or not that's been influenced or how much, you know, to what extent has our, has what we're doing been influenced by by our relationship with Christ. So um, that is not by no means a smooth um, devotional or sermon topic, but but I hope we can all do that. Um, so if any of you have, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay on here when time is over. If you think of you have comments, anybody wants to say anything to the group, that's fine. Go ahead and type it in. And then, uh, if not, if we can go back and see it later, I believe so, but, uh, glad you're all here. So in, in closing today, and I know this has been short. Um, I want to read to you the, the there are five stanzas, but it's it's it and what I love about this hymn uh, in particular is that it covers the it covers the life of Christ. It tells the whole story, the whole gospel story. and um, and the uh, if you've never heard the children's family, they're a family here in Madisonville, known for their gospel music, but they do they do like current gospel things they're not what i'd call a traditional gospel group but they do a beautiful arrangement of this and uh and it's i'll, I'll give them a plug so if you don't have any of their recordings they're they're just such such nice people and uh, do a great job of, of singing and sharing the, the love of god through song so but uh if you have an ear listen who is he in yonder stall at whose feet the shepherds fall? Who is he in deep distress, fasting in the wilderness? Tis the Lord, O oh, wondrous story. Tis the Lord, the King of glory. 
At his feet we humbly fall. Crown him, crown him, Lord of all. Who is he the people bless for his words of gentleness? Who is he to whom they bring all the sick and sorrowing? And then the refrain, "'Tis the Lord, a wondrous story. "'Tis the Lord, the King of glory. "'And at his feet we humbly fall. "'Crown him, crown him, Lord of all. "'Who is he that stands and weeps "'at the grave where Lazarus sleeps? "'Who is he the gathering throng "'greet with loud triumphant song?' "'And then the refrain again. "'Lo, at midnight,' Who is he that prays in dark Gethsemane? Who is he on yonder tree, dies in grief and agony? Tis the Lord. Oh, wondrous story. It is the Lord, the King of glory. At his feet we humbly fall. Crown him, crown him, Lord of all. And in the last verse. Who is he that from the grave comes to heal and help and save? Who is he that from his throne rules through all the world alone? Tis the Lord, O oh, wondrous story. It is the Lord, the King of glory. And at his feet we humbly fall. Crown him, crown him Lord of all. So that is my share with you today. I, I hope um, if you'd like the, to have a copy of that text, let me know. I can, I can get that to you. And this is one of these hymns I, I think it'd be good for us as a church to learn. So we may have to borrow from some other traditions um, to get this one in, but that's okay. Uh, does anyone, anyone out there, and I'll try to watch these as I go through. Um, thank you, Bill. <laughs> We're keeping it short. Um, anyone have prayer requests they'd like to feel comfortable sharing online here? And I'll try to write those down as the as the comments pop up. But like I say, on my iPhone here, they don't last very long. And if I if I, if I admit, the last one I see here is Cliff Jones. Yeah, hey Cliff. Oh, I said Bill, but misread that. Cliff, hope you're doing well. Okay, Ed, we got Priscilla. Political ratio separate, yes. I know that's gotta be tough. Anyone else have a, a, a special prayer need today? If y'all remember, uh, I know I know we have several, but um, I'm gonna make a attempt to make a visit to Patty Littlepage today, this afternoon. So uh, keep her in your prayers and Price. And just an update: our custodian Kenny had um, earlier in the earlier in the week or over the weekend had some issues, blood pressure issues. Spent some time in the ER. He's he's fine now. He's at work this morning. So uh, he's he's doing okay. Yeah, he's just getting things regulated. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Well, let's uh, let's take a moment and close in prayer, and then we will uh, we'll say goodbye for today, and uh, hope everyone has a wonderful week. And uh, if you can't be here and worship. You know, personally with us this Sunday that uh, you'll you'll tune in online, eleven o'clock. All right, let's go to God in prayer. Father, we are grateful for this beautiful day you've given us. Yes, it is cold, but we remember that you know what you've created needs that cold and to be rejuvenated and to come to life later on. You know, just weeks ahead. And we pray today that, you know, like much of those, like all those plants, that we 
focus this at this time on your revelation to the world as the Messiah, as Christ, and that we we make a solid attempt to recognize your lordship in our life. And, it, and it's so easy to want to do it ourselves, but help us be dependent upon you and help us um, develop our relationship with you and uh, guide us in all, all we do, all we say, and as we search for ways to be servants and disciples of you, that we do that, you know, in a way that accurately shows your nature. And we pray, especially today, for uh, Ed has made, lifted up Priscilla. And we pray for her being separated from her family for political reasons. There's so much, uh, so much um, unrest now in the world. But we pray especially and specifically for Priscilla and her situation so that uh, you, can, you can do a work there, work through her, and let her be a witness for you. Go with us now as we go back to the just the regiment of our lives, and uh, may we be a light. Take the light that you brought to this world at Christmas and share it, and share the love. It's all in the name of Christ we pray it. Amen. All right, guys, y'all have a great April Pearson. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys, we'll talk to you all later. Oh, bye. Um, I guess you see this. I got the flower off my head yesterday, and uh, so I'm uh, I'm down to a patch here on my melanoma removal. But every all the tests are good. Looks great. I just gotta I gotta just be careful in the sun from now on and uh, keep a watch on things. So anyway, God is good. You all have a great day. Love you, and we'll see you Sunday either in person or online. Take care. Bye.